Hey guys, I want to do a quick uh, tutorial update since my last one. Um, in the last tutorial we did this manually on installing the eGPU. I want to update that and show you a much easier automated way. If you look through some of the text that we talked about in the comments below in the other video, you can see that you know we talked about using the script, but I actually wanted to show you how to do it. Um, also, I wanted to install it on a fresh version of OS X uh, El Capitan as before I was kind of installing on top of an install so I just want to make, you, make sure you can see that you know we're running this completely clean my hard drive crashed so it's a complete wipe um, but yeah we're running 10.11.6 as of what's the date today September 8th 2016 latest um, installs or service packs have already come a security update service packs is Windows um, it's a couple days before Sierra but figure we get El Capitan working and then maybe we'll make another one for uh, Sierra. So anyway, let's get started. All right, a couple things I want to show you as far as links go. These are where to get everything. It's where to find all the information. GitHub is the main length of the automation script. The current version is 0.9.9. .9. That's where we're going to use everything. A good community form is Tech Inferno, where you can find everything. And we'll use these lines of code to uh, get everything taken care of. So the first thing we need to do is restart into recovery mode and uh, turn off system integrity. All right guys, we're booting into recovery mode so that we can disable the system integrity. I think it's the answer for something else too, but nevertheless, the system integrity setting. Um, to, to do this, you just hold Command and R while booting. So we'll let this boot up and hopefully that'll boot into recovery mode. All right, so we're into recovery mode. We come to here, we're gonna go to utilities at the top and go to terminal. And from here, we're going to type in CSRUTIL disable. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. Disable. All right, there we go. Successfully disable system integrity protection. Please restart. All right, and that's it. Let's get back to the tutorial. All right, so here's some important links. These are where we're going to get everything. The GitHub is the main location of the automation script. Tech Inferno forum is a good place to find a good talk of where they're talking about the script and you can get all the information. And then the rest of the stuff is how we're going to run the scripts. So let's get started and be really quick. All right, the one thing we're going to do is plug the graphics card in. So that's plugged into the Thunderbolt port right now. We're just going to paste these objects in. All right, so we've downloaded the latest automation. We're going to install it. And get ourselves to the desktop. And then we're going to run the automation script. The dash A is the advanced mode, and I wanted to give it a try. It didn't work last time, and obviously didn't work this time either. All right, so we can see that it did find the GTX 980 Ti that I have in there. We're on 10.11.6. No previous OS, no nothing else. What we're going to do is now download the latest driver from NVIDIA. We want to modify the packages.
And that's it. It did all the extra work for us, and we just need to restart now. So if we look into about this Mac without the uh, restart, go to system report. You can see currently that it just shows an extra display adapter. So let's restart and hope it worked. All right, guys, did a restart, booted right back up, and as you can see in our system information, there's now a GeForce GTX 980 Ti. That was it. That simple. Much less work than the last tutorial. You know, five minutes over 50 minutes. Uh, if you want to know how to build one of the eGPUs, you can look at the last video. There's a lot of forum posting on how to do that and what's going on. I actually went the Bison route and picked up the Bison Box 2, I believe it's called. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but if you want something right out of the box, it's a great little piece of tech. Um, it's a little expensive. You can build one for yourself a lot cheaper than what you see here, but just want to say it's out there. If you have any questions, leave it on the form and I'll try to find them. And also, if you need, you this did install the NVIDIA drivers, it did not install the CUDA drivers. If you need that for your software, you will need to uh, download that from NVIDIA's website. Just do a search for CUDA drivers for Mac and you'll get the latest drivers there. Thanks a lot.